Now I've been pretty busy with a whole load of new tracks, new remixes and a whole load of engineering so maybe I just missed the email but Splice just got a whole load better. I got an email through saying it's time to pick my new Splice plan. Now previously with Splice plans it was just about how many credits you got but in these new plans there's a whole load of new options and the most important one is to the basic package and that is the new bridge plugin. Now one of the most viewed videos on my channel is the one where I compare Splice and Loop Cloud where I was trying to decide which one was best for me and there's a whole load of pros and cons to both but one of the cons on the Splice side was the fact that the app just didn't feel good enough. I love the Splice catalog and I've kept with both to be honest, I've got a subscription with both, but Splice catalog was always best and the app let it down. However, this new bridge plugin, this kind of takes it a step forward. Now, if you've used Splice at all, you'll be quite familiar with the app. It's just a simple app that sits alongside whatever door you're working in, and it basically just downloads the samples. You take the samples from within there and you drag and drop them into your door. It couldn't get any simpler. However, it doesn't really have any kind of integration with your door, not like Loop Cloud does. Loop Cloud really kind of integrates well so that whenever you play a sample within the app, it will play in time with your door. But now Splice has got that with this new bridge plugin. So if I go into my plugins, into the Splice folder, there's actually a new plugin called Astra, which I'm gonna be looking at a little bit later, I think, maybe in another video. But this, this is the bridge that I really wanna get into because this is brilliant. If I drag and drop this onto a new channel, in fact, just create a brand new channel from it, it is just basically like the Loop Cloud plugin. It pretty much does exactly the same thing. It just sits there, doesn't really do anything from there. But if I go back to the app now, you can see this little icon is kind of lit up. This means it's actually now talking to my door and it will play in time. So for example, if I play my track back, I can now audition samples along with it. As you can hear there, the vocals are perfectly in time with my track that's playing. And I know there's gonna be a whole load of people in the comments below saying, oh, Luke Cloud's had that for ages. It has had it for ages, and I'm not even saying that. All I'm saying is that Splice users haven't had this feature, and it's just nice that we now actually have that. And a whole load of other features that have been taken from Loop Cloud, or at least inspiration from Loop Cloud. We got the key matching as well, which I absolutely love. So if I turn this on within here, and we can say that my track is in D minor, so I'm gonna switch that to D. It will now pitch the sam whatever samples play within Splice to the same key of the track. It does work really nice. And one of my favorite things about this is because it is a channel within your door, you can then start putting effects on and seeing if something will work even before you've actually even downloaded that sample or put it in there. So for example, I could put a little bit of EQ in there, put a little bit of reverb in there, just give it a little bit of reverb on that really kind of dry vocal, put the LFO tool in, just so I've got that vocal kind of ducking. Let's choose a sidechain preset to go for this one. And we can see exactly how it is before we even import that sample. Now also like Loop Cloud, there is the ability to copy the modified sample. So they've actually pitched it down. Obviously it's being pitched down in the Splice app. You could then copy that pitch down sample and put it into your track. However, to be honest, I would always take the original sample and then just kind of do the pitching myself rather than let that do it because I'm, I'm pretty sure that Ableton would be able to do that a bit better. Could be wrong, 
but that's just my own opinion on it. And that's pretty much it. That's the bridge plugin. It just kind of helps you audition your samples from Splice just that little bit easier and in time with your door. And as I say, I know I'm going to get a whole load of comments below saying about how Loot Cloud has had this for ages. But for me, who's been a user for Splice for so long, I love the catalog within there. And I'm just really glad that this new edition has been added to the app. I'm just not quite sure why it's been really quiet why nobody has really shouted about this because I really haven't heard much. Yes, I've had my head down in making tracks and stuff, but I really haven't seen anything about it. And I only really found out about this just by chance. I got an email saying that they've got some new plans. And actually at the moment, there is 200 monthly bonus credits if you sign up before the end of June. So I definitely recommend doing that. If you're thinking about changing your plan or doing whatever, or even just signing up to Splice, that seems like a really kind of cool offer. But I only really found out about that bridge plugin just by coming to this page. It said new bridge plugin. I hadn't heard anything about it, but I did actually find this article here, which is actually from the 7th of June. Uh, that it actually kind of shows you the workflow for Splice Bridge. It's almost like a uh, an article, uh, like a launch article. And I, th I think mainly because they've done this kind of soft launch on it. Maybe they're not too confident about it, or maybe because it is just, you know, borrowing some functions from Loop Cloud. I don't know. I'm just glad that it has been launched. Now, speaking of plans, I've actually upgraded my plan because I was on the original Sounds plan, which was $7.99 a month. I never really needed that many credits. However, there are some really nice benefits with the other plans. That's why I upgraded to the Creator plan, because as well as having that bridge plugin which you now get you do get that with the sounds plus as well but you also get the astra synth and the beat maker plugin now i don't know much about the beat maker plugin but the astra synth definitely looks really interesting i've heard a bit of a, bu a buzz about this and it does sound really quite interesting so i'm going to be diving into that within the next few months and probably i'll end up doing a video on it at some point if i you know if i really love it and it starts working its way into my workflow and that's the whole point of this video really just kind of shine a light on some of this new stuff that's going on with splice because i didn't know anything about it until i got that email through saying on whether i wanted to change my plan and once i kind of looked into that i realized all this new stuff was in there and that new bridge plugin is really going to be everything to me. It was never ideal kind of auditioning sounds from your browser or from that app over the top of your door when it's not in time and sometimes not in key. You know, you get a bit of an idea, but it's not great. Not as good as Loot Cloud was. I always I always said the new the Loot Cloud app was really great. It was just the splice catalog of sounds that I really liked more just for my kind of producing. And I'm just glad that that new bridge plugin actually kind of helps along with some of that. And that's gonna be really useful going forward. So if you do have a splice plan, log into your account now and check that out. So I just thought I'd kind of make this video, just kind of point out those bits and uh, let me know in the comments what you think to the new plugins, especially the bridge plugin. And if you're trying out the Astra plugin as well, let me know what you think to that. I've only played around with Astra just a little bit so far, but if I find that it's something that I'm gonna be using going forward, so I'm definitely gonna do a video on it, maybe a little bit of a deep dive and how I use it within my track. Nigga, hold on, I gotta hit the beat, you know, never gonna miss the